Hey guys, welcome to ASA Technical. If you have installed Ubuntu alongside Windows 11 but can't see it in the boot menu, then don't worry. In this video, I'll show you how to add Ubuntu to the Windows boot manager step by step. By the end, you will be able to switch between Windows and Ubuntu seamlessly. So, let's get started. Before we add Ubuntu to the Windows boot menu, let's make sure it is installed correctly. Open Disk Management by right-clicking the Start button and select Disk Management. Here check if you have separate partition for Ubuntu. If you see a partition labeled EFI partition or an EXT64 partition, then you are good to go. Now we need to add the Ubuntu's boot entry manually. To do this, open command prompt with administrative privileges. Next, let's identify the EFI partition where the bootloader files are stored. Type the following command, disk part and hit enter. Once in the disk part, type list disk and hit enter. Identify your main hard drive and select it. If it's disk 2, type select disk 2. and hit enter. Next type list partition and hit enter. Look for a small partition around 100 to 500 MB labeled as EFI system partition. Note the partition number then select it like this. Select partition your actual partition number and hit enter. Next type as I later equals Choose letter between M and Z and hit enter. Next type exit and hit enter. This assigns a temporary drive letter to the EFI partition so we can access it. Now that we have accessed the EFI partition. Now let's add Ubuntu to the Windows boot manager. In the same command prompt window type bcd edit space for slash set space Start curly braces boot mgr close curly braces space path space backslash efi backslash ubuntu backslash gravx64.efi and hit enter. If that command does not work, then you can manually create an entry with bcd edit space for slash create space for slash d space under invited comma ubuntu space for slash application space boot sector and hit enter. Next type bcd edit space for slash set space start curly braces your new GUID close curly braces space device space partition equals your assigned drive letter colon and hit enter. Replace your GUID with the actual ID generated from this command. Next type bcd edit space for slash set space start curly braces your new GUID close curly braces space path space backslash EFI backslash Ubuntu backslash gravx64.efi and hit enter. Next type bcd edit space for slash display loader space start curly braces your new GUID close curly braces space for slash add last and hit enter. This tells Windows to recognize Ubuntu's bootloader. Now let's verify if Ubuntu was added successfully. Type bcd edit space for slash enum and hit enter. Look for an entry named Ubuntu. If it's there, restart your computer. You should not see Ubuntu in the Windows Boot Manager. If Ubuntu still not showing up, here are some troubleshooting tips. Check your BIOS boot order by pressing F2 F12 escape or delete at the startup. Make sure secure boot is disabled in BIOS and hopefully your problem will be solved.
so i hope this guide was helpful for you if you have any question then please let us know please like comment and share we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you thanks for watching have a nice day